So you may have heard by now that LinkedIn has introduced a new rule where you cannot send more than 100 invitations in a single week. Now this is a big change because before, people were sending out pretty much between 50 to 150 invitations a day. So on average, about 100 invitations were going out a day, that's 700 a week. And now you can only send 100 a week. So a huge change with LinkedIn. And if you try to send more than 100 invitations, you'll probably see a pop-up message like the one right here. And if you haven't seen it yet, then it's only a matter of time because LinkedIn is slowly rolling out this change to every single LinkedIn account. So in this video, I'm going to go through how you can adapt to this new change, what you can do about it right now to get good results on LinkedIn, and I'm going to go through a new tweak that we made earlier in the year before we even knew about this LinkedIn change, which is really going to help you generate more leads. And it's actually perfect timing because if you're already doing this new way of using LinkedIn, you're going to be getting much better results even with this new LinkedIn change that they've made. So I'm gonna show you how exactly that works and I'm also going to show you some other tips and ways that you can adapt to this new change, including a way that you can actually still invite more than 100 LinkedIn invitations a week. Even though LinkedIn have limited you, there's still ways you can get around it if you know exactly what it is that you need to do. Now, before I get into all of that, I just wanna go through how traditionally people are using LinkedIn to generate leads. So you can compare sort of the old way of using LinkedIn to the new way and the new method that I'm going to show you in this video. So traditionally, the old way that people were generating leads on LinkedIn, you would first of all search for potential clients using uh, the LinkedIn search filters. Then you would connect to potential clients on LinkedIn. Then once you're connected, you would either A, you would ask them if they want to see a short video that goes through how you can solve a problem that they have. This is the strategy that I use uh, for myself and my clients. Or you could be, and this is what a lot, a lot of other people are doing, you could just ask them if they want to schedule a call with you uh, to go through a problem that you can solve for them. And if they wanna learn more, they can just schedule a call. Now, personally, I prefer option A, where you just tell people, rather than scheduling a call, you can say, hey, uh, I've created this video that shows you how you can actually solve this problem that you have. And you can just watch the video. And then if you like what you hear in the video, then you can schedule a call. So I think that way works a lot better because you're building up trust before you actually schedule a call with someone. And also a lot of the time people are just, you know, messaging people all with the same message, just trying to jump straight to a call. And it doesn't work very well because everyone is doing that. And no one really wants to have a call with you unless they really know that you can provide them with some value. So by letting them see a short video first, you can get better results because you're building up trust before people schedule a call with you. And it works out better for you as well because you're only going to have appointments or calls with people that you know are already interested in what it is that you actually do. So traditionally, this was the way that most people are using LinkedIn to generate leads. Now, as I mentioned earlier in this year, we actually made one little tweak to this strategy. And what we did is we reduced the number of steps that someone would need to take before a lead is generated, before an appointment is generated, and before a client is generated. So what did we do? Well, instead of connecting to people first and then asking if they want to uh, watch a video that you've recorded and then they can schedule a call. What we did is we just put that message where we ask if they want to see the video, we put that message inside of the message that you use to connect to people. And what's interesting is that even though you're getting straight to the point and asking people if they want to see the video that you've recorded in the message that you use to connect to them, you're still getting a 20% acceptance rate. So you're still getting 20% of those people that say, yes, they want to see the video and then they connect with you to see that video. Now, even though this one little tweak to your LinkedIn strategy will get you better results compared to what you were doing before, it still doesn't change the fact that LinkedIn have limited how many people you can now connect to every single week. So this is still a problem, right? Because it is a little bit of a numbers game on LinkedIn. So if you were before connecting to 700 people a week, so that's 100 a day, now you can only connect to 100 a week, okay? Which is a huge decrease compared to what you could do before. So what can you do about this? Is there anything else that you can do to still get those numbers as high as possible so that you can reach out to more people, generate more leads, generate more appointments, and generate more clients? Well, yes, there is something you can do. And in fact, I'm going to give you four things that you can do to help you with your LinkedIn strategy, to help you generate more leads on LinkedIn 
even with this new LinkedIn rule that they've implemented. Now, the first solution was actually discovered by Linked Helper, or at least they were the first ones to make this pretty well known. And Linked Helper, what they've done is they've got a really good article that goes into more detail as to how you can do this. But what they found is that you can actually invite more than 100 people a week if you know their email address. Okay, so I'm going to link to the article which goes through the instructions of how you can do this. But the short version is you can use a tool called snov.io and you can use this tool to grab people's email addresses even though you haven't already connected to them. And then you can get a list of these email addresses and then you can import them into LinkedIn and LinkedIn will allow you to send more than 100 invitations because you have their email address. Now, the only downside to this is that you can't customize that invitation. So you still need to connect to them and then have a message that you send them later on, such as asking them if they want to see a video that you've recorded that goes through a problem that you can solve for them. Now, the second thing that you can do is use more than one LinkedIn account. Now, if you have a team or you have different employees that are working for you, if they're not already using their LinkedIn account and they just kind of have it there, you know, not doing anything, just collecting cyber dust, then you can use their LinkedIn accounts to prospect and to reach out to new potential clients. And remember the LinkedIn uh, rule of 100 invites a week, that, that rule is only for one LinkedIn account. So if you use multiple LinkedIn accounts, you can then invite more people every single week. And then that means your numbers in terms of how many people you're inviting overall is going to be much higher, which means you're going to generate more leads and you're going to generate more appointments and you're going to then generate more clients as well. So using more than one LinkedIn account is another alternative that you could do. Again, it's not a perfect solution, but it still is an option for you if you have different team members or if you have different people working for you and you have access to their LinkedIn accounts and they're able to use their LinkedIn accounts to do some outreach and reach out to more people. The third thing you can do is focus on quality rather than quantity. So now that you are limited to how many invitations you can send, rather than being pretty broad with who you're inviting on LinkedIn, it's now a much better idea to be very, very specific with who it is that you're connecting to and who it is that you're inviting. And LinkedIn probably made this change because there's a lot of people that are just spamming people with invitations and they're just you know connecting to anyone, right? Without really adding much value to them. So uh, because of this new LinkedIn rule, it's going to make people think twice before they invite someone because there's now limits to how many people you can invite the normal way, right? So now it's definitely more about quality over than quantity. And that's something I've talked a lot about, even with the strategy that we use to get sales appointments, I've always said it's better to have a few really good sales appointments than lots of you know low quality sales appointments with people that are not going to be a good fit anyway. So when it comes to using LinkedIn, you definitely want to focus and drill down on who exactly is going to be the right client for you and only connect to people that are very likely to be a good fit for working with you. And then my fourth tip to using LinkedIn is actually not to completely rely on LinkedIn alone as your only lead generation strategy. Now, if you're using LinkedIn, it's most likely because you're looking to use free or low cost lead generation strategies so that you can win clients. Otherwise, there's other ways you can get clients using Facebook ads and things like that. But if you're using LinkedIn and you're using one of these strategies that I just mentioned now, chances are it's because you want to generate leads, appointments and clients for free or, you know, without paying a lot to acquire a new client. And what I want to let you know in this video is that LinkedIn isn't the only strategy or the only marketing channel that you can use to generate clients for free or for very low cost. And one of my favorite channels and my favorite ways to generate leads and appointments and clients for free is by using SEO. And this will be by using either Google SEO or YouTube SEO, but essentially it's by creating content that ranks higher on Google so that when people are searching for different keywords related to the services that you can help them with, they find you and they find your videos or they find your website and then they reach out to you because they've seen your content. And this strategy is way more powerful than LinkedIn and it also has a lot more potential than what LinkedIn is offering as well. So one of the things that I talk about with my clients is when it comes to generating leads for free or organically without paying a lot of money, we don't just use LinkedIn, we also use LinkedIn and SEO as well. 
And this is a really good way for you to be able to generate leads, appointments and clients consistently without having to pay a lot of money or really you don't really have to pay any money to do this because all you're doing is creating good content, creating content that is answering questions that your potential clients are searching for on Google or even on YouTube. Now, if you want to learn more about how we use these different marketing channels, whether it's free marketing channels like LinkedIn and Google or whether it's paid channels like Facebook ads, what I recommend that you do is you sign up for the free masterclass training that I've recorded. Uh, you can sign up by going to salesappointmentsmasterclass.com. As soon as you sign up, you can watch the video that I've recorded that goes into detail how you can generate leads and appointments using those different channels. And also it goes into detail as to what strategy we use to get people actually chasing to work with you rather than you chasing to work with them and how you can get higher quality appointments rather than a lot of low quality appointments. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.